there's this small, small little indie film called Jurassic Park that mm -hmm. <laughs> we like. 42. Open. C'è una bomba nella torta. Tranquilli, ho un master in torte esplosive. State indietro! I really enjoyed the um, Sarah's character because uh, she's a real woman. She's just not the sweetheart or um, the, the, the love interest. She's also rude sometimes. Uh, why do you believe that uh, directors think that um, a female character can be um, negative sometimes? You really don't believe so. <laughs> I think it's lazy, you know. I think it's. Mm -hmm. I think we we worked on it. We worked really hard trying to create these two characters, and I think that's why the movie works. That are complex and messy, um, and emotional, and just fully formed human beings. And everybody has that in them. Um, and I think I, I Sarah's rude, but I find that so funny <laughs> and, and so yeah. kind of like endearing. She's honest, you know. There's an honesty there. There's a there's an openness and Niles is so closed off that I, I find it, um, it's such a, it's such a combustible, cool dynamic. Um, and it's, so it just, I think it's about doing the work to figure out what makes people tick and what their damage is. And then, uh, putting them in a scenario to let them air that. I think there's, it's, it just is, you got to do the work and then you got to cast good actresses like Kristen Milioti who understand what you're trying to do and, and can come and make it better and bring it off the page in a, in a really incredible way. Mm -hmm. Her character says that we have to know uh, the past uh, so we can make the same mistakes again and again and again. I think that's so uh, actual <laughs> because we have to know history. If we know history, we can make the same mistakes again and again and again. So uh, how important is to know our past our, and our history? It's everything. It, it, it helps you. You can know it but it's also about applying it and being self-aware, right? And, um, and and doing the work and kind of owning a lot of the movie. I think the reason why people are enjoying it and it's resonating a little bit is because it's about sitting with your, being trapped with yourself and sitting with your your, your shit and having to, to reconcile that and, and think about the past. But it's it's about that, but it's also about applying um, your your realizations and kind of rising above your your circumstances. So... Yeah, understanding the past is a big part of that for sure. Why dinosaurs? I love the reference, <laughs> but why dinosaurs? <laughs> There's this small, small little indie film called Jurassic Park that mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we like. It, we uh, we love Jurassic Park. We love, you know, the wonder um, in dinosaurs, and, re and really like that moment is. I will say those dinosaurs are real. They're not. It's. I think it's. I don't know if anyone's ever taken psychedelics and, and hallucinated the same thing. I certainly haven't, but like that moment is all about the wonder of connection and falling in love. And it's, it's improbable, improbable for those two characters, but so, you know, just like seeing dinosaurs is, so it was kind of just a nice visual metaphor and just like a way to throw yet another curveball at the audience um, that we thought would be fun. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.